Hello, YouTube world. I want to talk to you about what is going on with McDonald's and the jab, the V, the juice. Let's take a look at a couple articles, what's going on with McDonald's here. Uh, and this is from McDonald's corporate site, May 11th, a couple weeks ago. McDonald's partners with the Biden administration to provide trusted independent information on the COV jab. McCafe cups and McDelivery seal stickers will help raise jab awareness this summer. We can do this campaign ads launch on McDonald's Times Square billboard later this month. So now anytime you go to McDonald's and get a drink, get a cup of coffee, a Coke, whatever, you're going to get the official government headline, we can do this promoting the jab. Um, you know, and here we see today.com. McDonald's to use packaging to promote the one-niner jab, the V. I don't, I don't think that's real. I don't think that's really the packaging for the fries. But here we see the cup again, the coffee cup. Of course, the government propaganda, we can do this. Um, you know, th this is what you get in a communist country. Like, this is what you get. In the old Soviet Union or China or North Korea, you get government cop propaganda uh, on the uh, you know on the materials and products of a corporation that these corporations and businesses um, are are just mouthpieces for the government. Let's take a look at a couple other headlines. Here we go. McDonald's will will pay employees to get the jab. McDonald's will pay employees to get the jab. And here it reads, McDonald's is paying U.S. corporate employees and workers at company-owned restaurants to receive the, the COV jab. McDonald's said in an email, employees who get vaccinated will receive four hours of paid time. So there you go. I, I guess for a lot of people, your soul is worth four hours of paid time. I, I don't know. You know, minimum wage, it was seven twenty five. I, I don't know what it what it is now. I mean I know some states are jumping to fifteen. I don't know if it's, you know, ten dollars in some states, but you know, so whatever it be, thirty five, forty, fifty dollars, you're essentially giving your soul away. Um just, just unbelievable stuff. And here we see, um, th this is maybe the wildest of this. Fries in a poke, these San Diego McDonald's are offering free jabs and menu items. Those who get a jab will also receive a coupon for one free menu item, according to the company. And we see uh, June 22nd, uh, this article written, of course, in your solstice season. For all the occultists out there, we're in that solstice high, you know, high season for rituals, June 21st and 22nd. Reading, San Diegans can now get Ron Burgundy, right? San Diegans. But this, uh, man, can't, can't really laugh one bit at this stuff. San Diegans can now get a side of the jab with their Big Mac. McDonald's is partner partnering with the San Diego County Health and Human Services Agency to offer free jabs at eight locations this week. More than 70 McDonald's across the state are participating. So imagine that, that this is going on in California, uh, that you're getting the jab at McDonald's and one more article on this. Um, some Bay Area McDonald's location serving up the COV jab. Across the state, 70 McDonald's locations will offer jabs over the coming weeks. This one's from June 25th. Not going to play the video. 
So reading a little of this article, there's something extra on the menu at some Bay Area McDonald's locations this summer. For a limited time at select locations, people can get a burger and fries with the side of the COV jab. How about that? There's something extra on the menu at some Bay Area McDonald's this summer. For a limited time and at select locations, people can get a burger and fries with the side of the one niner jab. Ayana Love was relieved Ayana Love, twelve years old, was relieved to roll up her sleeve Thursday at a familiar place. That was really quick and easy, she said. There wasn't a line whatsoever. You just walk in, get the jab, and walk out. It was really fun. I think it was pretty easy. I think other people who like me with anxiety uh, it, it will like it. It's much easier. The McDonald's jabs are all part of a statewide initiative to reach those who've had a hard time getting access to the jab. Across the day, state, 70 McDonald's locations will offer jabs over the coming weeks. One of the biggest issues that people have raised is access. I'm too busy during the day. I need to go to the clinic at night or I need the clinic to be closer to me. Solano County Public Health Officer Dr. Bela Matya said this is part of a series of initiatives to get clinics closer to people. You know, they want to get that jab at as many arms as possible, obviously. McDonald's cook Leonida Ponce took a break from making hamburgers to finally get the jab. To have it at work was more comfortable, she said. She didn't have to make an appointment, and that was easy, she added. Joshua, 13 years old, said one of the best parts of getting the jab McDonald's was lunch on the house. It was convenient, he said. You get free food. I got a combo meal. It's so sad to see. I mean, just so, so sad and depressing to see, like, this young man, 13 years old, and he's bragging about, you know, he got a free lunch out of the deal that, you know, the one of the best parts of getting the Jab McDonald's was a lunch on the house. And it it's just so sickening to see these bribery tactics that are being used to giving people free food, free beer, free airline miles, uh, you know, lottery tickets, all this garbage to entice them to get the Jab and it truly is unbelievable how how many people are going along with this. I've never seen anything in my life like it. I, I really sometimes can't believe that this is reality, that I'm really seeing this. It's like, you know, you've got to pinch, your, pinch yourself to make sure you're awake and not dreaming. And, you know, as everybody knows, this jab is just all over the place. I mean... If you turn on the TV, you're getting a public service announcement, a commercial from the government, uh, you know, we can do this slogan. And you're seeing, of course, every news channel and TV station talking about it. You know, if you pick up your cell phone and you look at your email, uh, if you're like me, you know, every day just about you've got an email from CVS or Walgreens, you know, pushing the jab, telling you to come in and get the jab. You know, now we see it at every restaurant everywhere. It's just insanity. And, I, you know, how in the world would this not, you know, raise a red flag for people? It's like, you know, they've been pro promoting the flu jab every year for many years. And, you know, we've never seen anything like this for a flu jab or for any kind of jab of anything, whether it be measles, mumps, rubella, MMR. Um, you know, polio, the flu jab. This is so different and it is so widespread and the propaganda is so over the top, out of control that I, I don't know what to say. You just, you have zero spiritual discernment if you're not questioning this and not feeling in your gut that something is really wrong here. And to be honest, who I really feel terrible for are the young people. Like you read this 12-year-old in this article going to the McDonald's and the 13-year-old who's talking about, you know, the best part of getting the jab McDonald's was a lunch on the house. That's who you really feel terrible for. I, you know, I don't feel so sorry for adults that someone that's, you know, 35, 40, 45 years old, they should, they should know better 
and it's just ridiculous that they would be that naive and deceived to get this jab. But what what really sickens me are these children that are being taken advantage of when they drop the age requirement from whatever it was, 16 or 18 to 12, and now you've got these 12 and 13 year old kids lining up and getting this jab. You know, I was in a CVS pharmacy. Um, a couple of weeks ago, and of course, they've got, you know, the jab there. and they, they do it right at the open, which is wildly inappropriate. They don't even take you behind closed doors. They, they have this line, and it just open air, and you watch people getting jabbed right next to, you know, like the toothpaste aisle, right next to the vitamin aisle, you know, right next to the hair care products, whatever. Um, it's just crazy. You know, when I was in the CVS shopping a few weeks ago and I saw, uh, you know, they had a line of about 10 people to get the jab. And, you know, I and I saw a lot of the people in line were like 13, 14 year old kids. And I, you know, while I was there, I saw 14, probably 13, 14 year old girl getting the jab and she's taking a selfie of herself getting the jab. And, you know, I don't know what, it just made me want to cry, to be honest with you. And I saw other 13, 14 year old kids behind her. I wanted to just scream out in the middle of the CVS, don't do it. I wanted to just scream, don't do it. But, you know, of course, then you'll just look like a crazy person, uh, probably get arrested. But, you know, honestly, I just felt like crying right there in the middle of the CVS, watching these 13 and 14 year old kids line up, get the jab. And, you know, taking selfies of it. And, and th those are the real victims in this thing are these children, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old. You know, with adults, you really wonder how in the world could someone not have a bad feeling about this or not have a bad feeling in their gut or not think that something was wrong? And I, I truly have no other explanation that this is truly biblical, that it is truly the strong delusion that the Bible talks away, talks about. Um, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 7 to 12, For the mystery of inequity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. For, for, and for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned, that believe not the truth, but add pleasure in unrighteousness. So we see right here, because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved, and for this cause God shall and for this cause God shall send them a strong delusion. God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they might, all might be damned who believe not the truth, but add pleasure in righteousness. So you really have to think and wonder, you know, and believe that what we're seeing right now is this strong delusion mentioned in Second Thessalonians and a couple other verses on this that are related. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. So we, here we see giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. And that is what it looks like right now, is people have had their conscience seared with a hot iron. They just have no discernment, no spiritual discernment. They're not in touch with reality, and they're just... Uh, unbelievably naive it's a childlike naivety it's just an unfathomable naivety and blind trust in in the government uh it, it's just uh, amazing you know and finally one more scripture on this romans 128 and even as they did not like to retain god in their knowledge god gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient you know and getting this jab 
is a very, I don't know how to put this, I, I guess I'd say uninformed decision, a very risky decision. Just at face value, if you're not a Christian, you'd, you'd have to think that someone would take into account the side effects, all these things that are being, uh, I got to be careful what I say, coming out concerning well, you know, um, the heart, um, myocarditis, I, I don't want to say, you know, those kinds of things we're seeing with side effects, but, you know, it's just crazy how people just run out, throw caution to the wind, and get this jab, and I don't know how else to say, but that God has given them to reprobate mind, their conscience has been seared with the hot iron, and they've received a strong delusion. Um, you know, here it says that they did not re like to retain God, their knowledge. God gave them over to reprobate minds. So when you do not seek God, you, you, when you do not seek God, you want nothing to do with God. Uh, eventually God gives you over to reprobate mind and you just believe lies and are completely deceived. Um, so just crazy stuff. I mean, this is just wild now how McDonald's now is putting uh, jab propaganda now on on their cups, um, on their products. It, it's just wild. I mean, this is just everywhere you go, on television, on your email, on your phone, every restaurant, you know, going at, at restaurants you go to everywhere. This jab is just everywhere. And it sure makes me think about Revelation 13. I think you know what I'm talking about in Revelation 13. So, you know, the real victims are the children. I, I say right now, Father, in Jesus Christ's name, please help these children that are 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. They don't know what they do, and I plead with you to have mercy on them, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, help them. Amen. So, just insanity, what we're seeing with this stuff. Just want to point this out with McDonald's promoting the jab hard. So I'll see you uh, real soon, everybody out there.